Hey everybody, I hope things are going well. I know I keep saying, hey, I'm gonna have this build done and I got this coming next week and so on and so forth. But man, it's been crazy lately between work and kids and kids and projects. I just can't seem to find the time to get things done. However, I did get a bunch of stuff done today in the build behind me, which you're gonna see here in just a moment. I'll kind of walk over what I've done. I've got one or basically two things left to do. One, I gotta get the uh, tubing in and two, I just gotta install windows and I guess three would be benchmark everything and show you how awesome this build is. Um, it's actually coming along nicely. I finally got my riser cable from uh, Inwin and the good thing is, is it looks great. It's exactly what I was in, uh, picturing the build to be in the beginning. I was frustrated that, you know, it wasn't included in the $500 case set up from the beginning, like it probably should have been. But uh, regardless, uh, it looks really good right now. So let me take a, let me give you a quick go over of what we've got done and uh, we'll kind of move on to a couple other things here. Okay, as you can see, this is actually coming along very nicely. I was able to figure out how I wanted to get my reservoir mounted and installed and you can see what I did. I couldn't find any black screws. I would have really liked to find some black screws for back there, uh, but I did find those, so they at least they tie in with everything else. I'm using the um, Proteum, uh, or Singularity Computers, their, um, I think it's called the Ethereal uh, mounting kit, uh, and then I've got obviously their whole pump res combo there because it's gonna make things look nice and clean. And then uh, I was able to get the uh, riser kit installed for the GPU. Now the downside is, is these have to be retrained. Which it shouldn't take too long. I got, a, I got a cable tied in back behind there and these will look really nice. The color scheme is coming along great. I mean, what I like about this is now everything is filling up. Uh, it doesn't look like we have wasted space in there. It's nice and clean. The only thing I was considering it was moving this over just one screw hole to hide just a little bit more of the cable. But I kind of like how it looks there, especially because now we'll be able to see that one pipe that's gonna be the outlet because with, I'm gonna move that RGB cable. With how these work is this is your outlet, this here and the backside are all inlets and then obviously the inlet will be in the main portion there of the uh, pump res. So my plan is coming out of this, somehow either up and in the backside of here or across the front in here, which I'm kind of leaning towards that right now uh, just because I like seeing the pipes or the tubes, I should say. And then out of the backside into here, that's your inlet port. Out of here, up to the back side of here of the uh, res, out of the res, in, out, and then into the um, reservoir again. So it should be nice and clean. I've just got it to get that all measured out and installed. Uh, it shouldn't be too difficult. The other thing, I did reach out to cable mods and um, I haven't heard back from him yet, unfortunately, so I'm gonna send him another email. For some reason, that left set didn't come with any cable cones, so it doesn't look the greatest. So I wanna get that fixed. Hopefully they will quickly, otherwise I'm gonna find something at least to make it look, I suppose, like that. Uh, I'm really, I don't know, that, that's bugging me. The other thing that's bugging me is that, ca that cable that comes right through for the RGB and how uh, EK does their water block for digital RGB. That bugs me. Uh, I might, say might, I haven't decided. I might switch that over to the bits power block I have. The only reason I kind of like this is because this is obviously an EK block, EK block, but I guess it doesn't have to be that way. But I mean, overall, I think that that looks absolutely amazing. Please give me your input. Let me know if there's something that you would uh, like to see me do differently or you think that should be done differently. Uh, other than that though, I think it looks really clean. So the last thing I have to do for install, which I will get done here, I promise, is um, the tubing runs. So, and then we'll get that all filled up and, and done right. Okay, and last thing um, I wanted to touch on today. Yeah, I'm getting this done. I do have a couple things upcoming that, yes, I will actually get to. A little less time consuming in some ways because I can start the benchmarks and I can walk away, get some stuff done and come back to the benchmark, so on and so forth. On um, launch day of 3090, I was actually able to grab 
uh, for the win three ultra carb from EG, EVGA. It was a nightmare of refresh, 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 and it would time out. And then finally I got into the shop, cop, the shopping cart and then refresh, refresh, refresh. And, and it would keep looking like it was airing. I mean, it probably took two hours for the shopping cart to finally finalize, but here it is, I got that. So that's fantastic. I am absolutely pumped to be able to try this out. Uh, and actually I have a second one coming because Genesis is a dual carb machine. That's my enthusiast machine. And this is the only one that you can uh, SLI. So I'm going to not only be benchmarking this first and kind of giving my opinions on the EVGA version of the 3090, but I'm gonna do two of the cards. So I'm super pumped about that. Secondly, uh, I also got in Rocket's uh, new wireless headset. So it's called the ELO 7.1 Air. We're gonna talk about this because I noticed a lot of people online, uh, especially in the performance PCs uh, group I'm in on uh, Facebook uh, and on Discord, people are constantly saying, what's your favorite or what's the best wireless gaming headset to use? And I'm gonna actually talk about that and a couple other that I do like to use. Uh, this is a lot less expensive than the two different options I like to use, which is Astro uh, Gaming A50, and then I've got another setup that's an AKG uh, K7XX from Drop, and I use the mod mic um, for the microphone. But the, nonetheless, we will talk about that. And I, again, I'm gonna get this done. So thank you for your patience. This has been ridiculous, I agree, but I had to get something out today. I got some progress on this, actually a lot of progress. I'm very happy with where it's finally coming uh, at. The, yes, the 2080 TA is now outdated by this, but it's still gonna work really well because this is gonna be my editing rig. So that's what I'm gonna use for uh, doing my uh, my videos and whatnot because I've got a 3950X for the process here. And yeah, maybe I'll put a 5000 series chips in there. Maybe I won't. I mean, it's still 16 core 32 thread uh, IN processor from AMD. I know it's gonna absolutely rock uh, Photoshop. So, or I should say, well, Photoshop too, but Premiere. Anyway, thank you. Appreciate your patience. Hopefully you liked today's video. If you do, hit that, uh, Subscribe for, button for me, hit the thumbs up, all that fun stuff, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.